Have you ever had this problem where you're trying to share a file here on your iPhone or your iPad in GarageBand or somewhere else, and when you get to your share sheet, there is no save to files? What is going on here? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you a workaround and help you fix this problem. Let's go. Hey, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music through tips and tricks and tutorials just like this one. So if that's your bag, consider subscribing. But in this one, we're going to solve this very annoying problem because I get asked this an awful lot. So let's jump in here now. What I'll do is I'll tap and hold on this one and then I'll tap the share button because anywhere where we share from within iOS, this is going to work. So anytime you hit this share sheet and you don't have a save to files option, this is going to fix it. So here we are. We're in our share sheet. Why can't we save to files? Even if we tap the more button here, there is no save to files option. Well, what we have to do is quite simple. We just tap on open in and what it will do is it'll actually export or if it's not an export, if it's just sharing a file, it will share that file immediately. And once it's actually done exporting here, you'll be able to see that we can save this as a file. Here it is. We can now save to files. So we just needed that one additional step. Every time you don't see save to files, just look for open in and it'll be there and it will be your best friend. So now we can save to files. We come here to our familiar screen and we can save this anywhere we like, anywhere on our iPad or our iPhone, anywhere in our iCloud drive. So let's just add it into our music folder here and we're good to go. Our studio live today, theme music is exported and is ready to go. So that's really all there is to this. But if you want to know why this is the case, this is it. So the problem here is that originally we had just one location, which was on my iPad or on my iPhone for GarageBand and for a lot of other files. When files integration happened in iOS, we now have all of these other locations. And what happens is anything that's stored here on your iCloud drive or any other location, what iOS is saying is you've already got this stored in files. Why would you ever want to save it to files? Well, you can't tell me what to do iOS. You're not my father. Anyway, uh, what we can actually do though, we can trick it by saying open in and then saving it to files. So we can say, no, I won't do what you're told. I, I hate it here. I don't want to live here anymore. We're getting off track. But the other thing is if we're actually here within on my iPad, the reason some people don't have this problem is if we're doing this in our on my iPad location, we'll do exactly the same thing here. And what's happened here? We've got saved to files. So as long as you're on your iPad or on your iPhone, you're going to get that. If you're in any other location here within files, you're not going to be able to do that. You just have to use open in to get this solved. So there you go, a very simple solution for this very annoying problem. I hope that helped you out. If you want some more tips and tricks and hacks all about GarageBand and iOS, check out the two videos. We have links right down there below. You can subscribe by clicking and tapping up in the top right corner and I'll see you on the next one.